Hello, friends. During this month, in National Suicide Prevention Month, I want to talk to you about guardianship of people with mental health illnesses. You know, I was at my home the other day, and I have a neighbor who suffers from mental health illness. And every time she would, her medication would need to be titrated, or there's a stressor in her life. She needs medical intervention. And I've spoken to the family, and I've asked them, what do you have planned for your loved ones? Yes, you're there with, uh, with her right now, and so you can be available. Maybe you can call in critical care for her so that someone can take her to an inpatient facility. However, what exactly do you have planned? And I'm asking you as people, as loved ones, for people who have mental health illness. Maybe your loved one doesn't have mental health illness. Maybe they have an uh, um, inclination for suicide. What do you have planned? In situations like this, I like to talk to people about powers of attorney. During the time when your loved one has capacity, that's the time when you should move. That's the time when you need to go into action. Go to a law firm. Get that medical power of attorney that springs into power when they become incapacitated or when they're in a facility or one that's always in effect so that you can walk alongside your loved ones. Think about a financial power of attorney or a durable power of attorney. Who is going to pay her rent when she's in the facility? Who is going to make sure that her lights stay on, make sure that her cable doesn't get cut off so that when she comes home, she can be in a comfortable space? Those are the things that you need to think about when your loved one has um, capacity. But what can you do if it's a crisis? Your loved one doesn't have the power of attorney. You don't have the durable power of attorney. What can you do? In a situation like that, maybe a temporary guardianship is right for you. Yes, it's good for 60 days, but during those 60 days, you can be an essential and effective advocate for your loved ones. So during this Suicide Prevention Month, I want you to look at your relationship with your loved one under a different lens. How can you be there for them during the time when they need you most? If you really want to talk about this or talk about a temporary guardianship or medical power of attorney or maybe an agreement on care, come talk to us here at the Law Office of Brian Fagan where we deal with this issue every day. You can visit our website www.brianfagan.com slash probate. On that page you will find tips and videos and blogs about guardianships because this is what we do every day. We treat you like family here, and sometimes even better. My name is Megan Truick, and I'm an attorney here, and I look forward to speaking with you. Thank you. Hello, thank you for watching our video. And because you made it to the end of that video, we're offering you our new estate planning handbook. This is a wonderful tool, and I'm sure you like it. Go ahead, download the link, and let's get learning together.